But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Girl Gaming. Uh, today we're doing episode 2 of the uh, Modders on Modeling on Modding on Moomini Moomini Manamanu. That's what making we're doing. Shit. Yeah, we're making shit. Uh, and joining me is Connor, as you can hear. Hello. Hello. And Connor's going to teach me some stuff because, uh, like I said in the last episode, I'm really, really bad at modeling. Uh, we made this together in the last episode. Um, so what we're going to do is Connor's going to teach me to make it not shit. Well, All right, Connor. So where do you think we want to start? Smoother. Right, what's your plan, man? Well, it's your model. Where do you want to start, really? Um, I kind of wanted to uh, do something or other with this bridge or window section or whatever you want to call it. Right. Because it does look a little bit shit, so... It's a bit boring, isn't it? It is, it is. You want my so advice? You... Yeah, how big, how big is this, How big is the ship's going to be? How big is the ship? Uh, I haven't really thought about that too hard, but I'm thinking of making it something around the size of uh, one of those Bajoran ships. Okay. Um, a Bajoran. Which one? Uh, one of their freighters, you know. Something like that. Okay. O on the smaller side of the spectrum, but, you know. Okay, so what I would say is to get rid of that module completely. Well, not a module, not rid of it completely. Right, so if I select all these bits here... Don't delete them, don't delete them. We're gonna, we want to keep geometry like, like the bit that we're going to end up with. So go into vertex mode. Uh, I'm in Vertex Target mode. Weld. Uh, target weld. It's around here somewhere. There it is. All right, start welding down. All right, so I think I can do it by pulling one to the other. Yep. Oh. So, I'll tell you what, we'll do it here. Oh, this is all very confusing. <laughs> so if I weld that down to here... What? It, won't, it won't play ball. It won't you play ball. To, you have to follow the line, well, the edge, should I say. See what happens if I do that? Nothing. There's a vertex underneath that one. Oh no, that means me ch trying to find things. Oh, oh. Uh, as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not one for uh, being able to find things ever. Is but it? What's going on here? All right, we're good. Hey. So I need to move that down to there. Oh there my go. god. Don't worry, it will go. It will... Why don't I bring that down now, do I? If you want to. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I've never done this before. This is fun. You can create the most worst geometry you can possibly think of in doing this. What's going on here? Can that go there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can go there. Can it? Nope. Why can't that one go there? Does that one need to come down to there? Oh, oh yep. That one could... No. Okay. There's something there that's not playing ball, isn't there? Yeah. What if I weld this one to this one instead? No. Nope. Right, so let that vertex that isn't playing ball. I've got a plan. We're going to do this. So I'd like to apologise to the ladies and gentlemen if they hear me eating, because I am eating. He's having cake, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, good old cake. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Jealous much, Chris? I'm always jealous. I'm always jealous. I, I do like cake. So how about I move that one down to there? Do the same. Oh, I've done that that side already. <clears throat> so this is how you undo bits that you don't like usually. If if you need to, yeah. Um, if it's like that, I swear, I'll just. Make right it, there we go. I've made that okay. pretty flat. So what we well the problem here now is the fact that it's not really kept the original geometry how it would have been. So what you want to do? I want you to uh, do some edge removal. We could edge removal. Okay, mm. so you uh, basically select the edges that you don't want and press backspace. Is that right? I spell. Uh, there is a specific remove button. I've done it. <laughs> uh, you need to get rid of that one as well. Actually, no, 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 no. Keep that one. Keep that one. Well, what I was thinking is of doing is I Let's, was going to yeah. go to Just do that. the uh, connect tool and connecting them across using vertex mode. Okay. Is, is that going to work? Uh, that won't work now because there's an edge in the way. That's unfortunate. Use the cut tool. All right, so we're going to use the... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, is it good on vertex mode? Yeah, it's good on vertex mode. All right, it's around here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Cut. Select your vertex. 
Can I go? Uh, you didn't select the vertex. Oh. Just right click. Oh. Oh. So I gotta no, select go. this. Yeah, so when you select a vertex, it goes like into a crosshair. Uh, no, right. you can cut all the way across, and it will create a vertex for you along the edge. Well, isn't that clever? It is, isn't it? And right. Well, right click so I don't make any more crazy things. That's not quite in the right place, so I think we better go come out of cut mode and yeah, just. I need to just shift it up. <laughs> I look about straight. Well, use your. Remember, you've got three other views here, giving you a basically an entire way that's showing. Needs to come up a little though. There we go. That looks just about right now. Let's make sure it hasn't done anything weird on the inside. I'm concerned because this now looks like a funny colour. Hmm. It's probably just the lighting, but. Right. Select the polygon. Let's see if there's any problems with it. Select it. That seems alright, doesn't it? Uh, no, well, scale it uh, smaller. So let's use the scale tool and go. Uh, any problems? Nope, no problems. Right, back it out. So we'll just go Control Z and. Right, cool. Okay, so we've done that. Now, what can we do to give this thing a bridge? Or some kind of control area where you would expect the uh, the main crew to sit? Have you got any ideas for that? I do, right. I mean, so the four polygons around there where you got selected. These areas? Yeah. Right. Okay. Extrude. All right, so we're going to extrude it. Do you want to go up or down? Up. Up. How far do you want to go? About that. All right, done. Now then, what I want you to do, I want you to flatten it. Flatten it? Yeah, so it's parallel, like straight. <laughs> You've confused me now. Right, so imagine... You see the oh, I see. So you want to make it like flat like this? Yeah. Or do you just mean flat in comparison with each other? I want to make it flat as in the way you mentioned it the first time. All right, you got it. Okay, so I think what I'd want to do with this one is go to this mode, select these. There's a much better way of doing this. Go on, do tell. Right, go to polygon mode. Polygon mode, you got it. Uh, Go down. Yep. Down on here. Yep. Now, you see these um, X, Y, Z in the bottom right, in co the bottom right English corner? Yep. It's one of them. I can't think which one. Hang on. Which well, let's one? let's y. try Make pressing them randomly and see y. what happens. Why? Why? Yeah. There you go. Because I gotta pull it up, yeah. and then just move it upwards again. Yeah. Okay. About there. Yeah. Now, right. um, you see the bit that's got we've got leaning forward. Ah yes. Oh, if yeah. I click those polygons and click X, no, that will be Z, won't it? Scoot, surely. Well, no. I was thinking. Let's instead of making it straight. Let's make it a bit more um, angled inwards, shall we? So oh, if you go right. to, if you go so to vertex I... mode or edge mode or whatever, just pull it oh, in. I did the wrong thing. Okay, right, I got you. Okay, mm. so we'll go up here. Mm. We'll go to edge mode. We'll select the two edges here. And then we can just move that back. So something like that? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so, right, we've got some kind of control surface now. What do you think? It's a good start. But I think we need to do a bit more to it. Mm -hmm. Any ideas? Yeah. It's going to get, this is where it's going to get complicated. You ready for this? Absolutely not, but let's do this. <laughs> uh, okay, so click on the uh, polygon tool. Boop. Uh, set the top. All four sections at the top. Yeah. You got it. Inset that thing. We're going to want to inset it. Um, how far do we want to inset it, do you think? Not much. That'll do. That'll do? All right. Mm -hmm. That'll do. He's eating, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying this. Ah, but not, you can't hear it coming through the mic, can you? Uh, no, I, I just know when you've got your mouth full. I've known you for long enough. Oh, thanks. thanks <laughs> okay, so... Um, what you want to do now, and probably extrude that a bit more. Okay, so we're going to come up a little further. Something like that? Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'd make it look like an armour plate, essentially. To protect oh. it. Oh, I see. Oh, oh uh, no. Uh, Boogie. Okay, right. I reckon that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Now, if you want to scale it in a bit. Okay, so we right-click, go to the Scale tool, and do something like... How does that look? Hmm. Oh, very yeah. good. Okay. Now, I assume you want a window of some kind. Something, yes. Uh, just something that uh, shows that the bridge crew uh, are in there, and they're seeing what's going down. All right, so select, select that polygon. You've got selected that one, that one. And the one to the side, to the right, and then the side the to left. the left. Yep. Okay. Now, 
scroll down on the right shelf. Now, you see slice plane? Yes, I can. We're going to get complicated now. Now then, you see this yellow line that's popped up? Oh, I've seen this thing. Don't you need to rotate the line? So you can rotate the line. Uh, actually, no, what you want to do here, you want to click on the angle snap in the top right, in the top, in the top menu. It's got a magnet oh. on it. It's got a what now? Yeah, that's the one. Angle snap. All right. Now, what this will allow you to do now is to create angles of five degrees increments. Ah, uh, yes, so and that makes it, it makes means we can go to 90 degrees quite nicely. Yeah. Now, you want to, what you want to do now, you want to go to your move tool and move it up. I get to... So let's just, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so everybody can see. Um, it actually shows you the line of where it's going to cut on your selected polygons there. Mm -hmm. It's all very good. Right, that looks right, so, good. Is that nice, is it? Mm. And then I just click slice, don't I? Is that yep. right? Boom, slice. Now move sliced. it down a little bit. Okay, so let's go down. Oh, no, back up a bit. Do you want to make it look too... A bit like that. Like that, yeah, that looks good. And we'll slice again. And deselect. And we're out of slice planes. Okay, so, so now what we need to do is we've got some um, rogue vertexes here that aren't really connected to much. Okay. You see on the right, on the side there? Where am I looking? Right, you see where the box bit comes across, like, to the to the edge on the right? Here? Yeah. Them two edges don't, aren't, those vertexes aren't connected to anything now. Well, they are, but they're not, if that makes any sense. Go to vertex mode. Right, I want you to so select... these two here, is it? Yeah, I want to select one vertex. Stop. Yep. And I want you to, not well, I want you to connect it to the vertex on the, move right, move the camera right a little bit. Oh, need to zoom out. Uh, the one in the corner here? Yeah, the one in the corner. Okay. I think what you can do is you can select both and then click connect, can't you? Yeah. Oh, no, so that you want the other, you want the other vertex. Oh, Z. So we want this one and this one and we'll uh, connect them. Okay. Yep. And then, uh, click that, that one, one and the lower oh. one. Yep. Okay. And connect. Now, I should have done this uh, at both sides simultaneously. You, you uh, can do that, yeah. But let's not overcomplicate matters, shall we? No, it's because it's I get confused if I don't do both things at once. I'm very stupid, you see. Well, stupid's not the... I'm, I'm quite stupid. Person. Right, there we go. We've got mm -hmm. it. Right. Oh, then I go to polygon, maybe. Oh, are we going to do kind of like an inset and then... No, no, we don't need to inset this thing. We can just, um, we can, right. I uh, need to cl click on the side ones as well. Let's make this look like a, like a Star Destroyer almost. A Star Destroyer. Right, what's your plan? Extrude. Just going to straight up extrude nope. it. Nope, no, nope, no, no, no. We're going to have to go into the extrude menu here. Oh. So we click on the little settings tab here. Yep, and you can, oh. do, you can do several types of extrude, so you want local normal. Mm-hmm. Local normal, that's it. And then use the menu thing to pull it in. Ooh. Ah. See, that's not going flat, you see, is it? It's not going flat now. So let's think about how we would do this. We could do a little inset, I suppose. That might help. Yeah, it could do. I'm sure there was a way that you could actually do it, wasn't there? Oh. Oh. I see why it's local normal, because it connects them all together even afterwards. Yeah, you want... Right, let's inset this thing first, shall we? This All one. right, you got it. So I'll not, just do not, a small... In not by much. Ooh. Oh, oh. I'll tell you what, let's just do it via the menu, so I don't F it. Uh, local normal again. Is there a local normal option? It's been a... No, no, there isn't. Right, just do it by group, yeah. We're going to have to make this diddy. Click insert, and we're going to go with, like, 0.01. Oh, praise some the really Lord! Weird stuff going on here. Yeah, this isn't standard, is it? No. Right, do it by zero point zero zero one. Add a zero in between that one zero. Okay. Enter. That's better. That does look better. That's not going to give me any conflicting vertices or anything crazy, is it? Nope. That looks about right. All right. So we'll tick that off. Right, let's so... Try, let's try and extrude it again, shall we? Okay, uh, let's do it via the menu, as you suggested. Local, normal. Nope, still having the same thing. There's oh, a it's, there's it looks a, like we've got something on the inside extruding, look. There's a reason for this. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Can't remember. <laughs> I believe in you. I don't believe in me. 
Oh! 0 0.01 again. Is it minus or plus that you want? Plus? Minus, you want minus. Nope. Oh. Because we're so going into. We'll go enter. Alright, that'll do. And click OK. Oh, I see what we've done. And then do you want to do that again, do you? <coughs> you can give it a go. Uh, oh. No, it's still having some pretty odd effects, isn't it? Mm. It's doing this shimmy, shimmy, shimmy thing. Well, what do you reckon? Should we just have it out of here like that? <laughs> I reckon that's perfect. That's a, that's a bridge module and a half, isn't it? Oh, God, it looks like a Bajoran sailing ship. Back. That's hideous. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. If I actually select one of these polygons, it's well weird now. I think we should go back before we anger the modelling gods. Right. I think that's a nice little groove anyway. Yeah, that'll do the job for me. I'm happy with that. Brilliant. Now, what else can we do? Uh, I've noticed that particularly the wings, they look a little bit bland and boring at the moment. So what can we do to improve those, uh, like particularly at this trailing edge here? Uh, we can round it off. All right. So how would we go about doing that? Edge selection. Okay. So we're going to click the edge selection tool. And you want to select all the edges? Uh, let's start with the... Yeah, yeah go on then. Alright, here we go. We don't need the central bits, do we? No, we don't need the central bits. We're not going to touch them. Leave the, the back. central bits alone. Leave Brittany and her central... Oh. Uh, you hold Alt to minus, don't you? Yes, you do. Good. See, so, ladies and gentlemen, I am still learning. I've got no clue what I'm doing, really. So, I haven't selected these little bits right in the corners. That's okay, isn't it? That's okay, yes. All right, and I'm just going to go and select the other side as well at the same time. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused. And nobody likes that. Holding down control to ensure that I select everything. Not many more to go. Now, one of the beauties about Max 2015 as well is that it has a um, there's a new chamfering feature called quad chamfering. Okay. Which allows us greater control of how to chamfer something, which is great for Star Trek ships because you can actually get a curved chamfer now. So, can I do this via settings? Yeah. The chamfer settings. So let's click that and see what we've got. Right, you've already got quad chamfering enabled. So oh, we're gonna, oh, we need to fiddle, well, we need to fiddle it about with a bit now. So we need to reduce it a bit. Okay, so I just do that here, don't I? Nope, that's that's moving. Well, that's, that's let's Z. Right. It's not that. That's how much you want the edge to come out. It's this one. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's take it down to 0. Point... Oh. Now we need to be very very careful here because things can cross over, can't they? Yes. Now this is where you want to look at. You want to find your finish area, and we need to best to type it out, man. Probably. No, I think I know what you. I think I know what you're saying. So let's go enter. All right. So that's okay at the moment. Yep. You know, we're trying increasing it. It's this, I mean, this is the thinnest part around it. Ooh. Oh. Go back. What did I do? Who the hell cares? I like it. I, I don't like I, it. I don't. Oh, there we are. Let me go. Oh, I need to select edge because somehow you selected element. That's very obscure. Right, so we were trying to chamfer. Yes, we were. And we were trying 0.05. Well, I'm zooming a bit more. Seems okay right now. Looking good, looking good. So, shall we try uh, not. Uh, it's because I'm trying to press delete. It's my own stupid fault. I know what I'm doing now. Backspace, you want to press? Well, I tried 0.1 and it didn't like that either. What happened there? Huh. Decided to go into vertex mode. Huh. Actually, here's the thing. Uh, um, before we actually probably start chamfering, looking at the uh, wingtips. The, well, the bit where the, jo the wings join the um, model. This bit here. Yeah. 
I'm going to quad, uh, quadrilangle, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to triangulate it. Because it's going to make it a chamfering a little. Uh, so I bring that to here, perhaps? Yeah, yeah. So if I do, do, uh, do, and we'll connect those, do, and do, and we'll connect those. I better do that on the other side as well, otherwise I'll forget. Right, so all those bits and bobs are connected now, so. All right. <laughs> now go back to your edges. Now you want to select the edges again. Uh, also, you know them two new edges you've created? Yep. Select them as well. All right, you got it. Now you're watching this on uh, screen share, aren't you? Yes, I am. Good. And is it coming through to you at a nice timing? Yes, it's looking good. Good. Well, nothing bad has happened so far. Except for all the things that I've done. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, while you're doing that, I watched, um, I finally watched both Captain America films today. Oh, did you? Uh, how's the new one? Or the newer one, well, I should say. Oh, The Winter say. Soldier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Cool, man. Well, we've got all those uh, edges selected now. Okay. So... Now we want to go to that chamfer tool. Yeah. Now, as you uh, can see, this is going to reduce our chamfering capability a little more because we've got them two edges selected. So should we try that? Not yep. point. I'm going to zoom in a bit more on the edge. That, that looks crazy. That's crazy, man. That's cray cray, man. Okay, zero point, it... okay zero point zero one. Oh, don't want to zero, zero one. one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, no. No rendering to texture. Right, zero, zero, one. Enter. Okay, that's a little better. Let's try zero, zero, zero. Let's try zero, zero, five. Doot, doot, doot. See, why does it do that when I press backspace? I don't know. Oh, it's done that thing again. I'm utterly bemused by this. Yeah, so backspace is a, is a key I don't want to be using. <clears throat> I don't know why it's doing that. It just doesn't like you. It just doesn't like me. I think it might be something to do with my keyboard. Right. I've got to be honest. I, um, there is a like an X thing on on that as well, and I think it's it's picking up the uh, to the like spare function key. Mm -hmm. I think it's decided that is always on when I'm when I've got 3ds Max on. So it's doing whatever its other function would be. Which is nice. Might choose to edit all these fuck-ups out. Might not. Probably won't. Nope. <laughs> right, so we wanted 0, 0, 0, 1, didn't we? Or was it, no, 0, 0, 1? 0, 0, 5. Alright, let's try that. Um, we're going to zoom in here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Is that all acceptable? It looks acceptable. What do you think? Well, it's good to me so far. Let's just have a good look around. Everything looks fine over here. And the reason that we're checking all these is just to make sure that there's nothing weird crossing over or or being bindi badgied. Bindi badgied? Bindi badgied. That's a new one there. It all looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks uh, fine. The only thing that concerns me is if I just have a look in this corner. No, that's fine. That's okay, is it? Yeah. Cool. So we've slightly rounded off the wingtips. Do you think we should maybe do something similar? What, to the front? Yeah, to yes. like this edge. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, go back. Right, press OK. Right, so I'll select all these edges. Uh, you can just click and... Uh, uh -huh. that loop. Right, so we've got our loop, so let's do the chamfer thing again. I think we're going to be a little bit more intensive with it this time, aren't we? we yeah, we, we can make it bigger. We can go harder. We can make it um, bigger -er -er and better. -er -er. So let's try that. Bigger -er than that. Can it go bigger than that? Yeah. Well, you dog. Let's make it bigger. So let's make it... 0. 0. 0.1. And it's done that weird thing again. Your keyboard is buggered. Maybe I'm running out of batteries with my keyboard. Hey, you have a wireless keyboard? Yeah, of course I do. 
zero zero five, enter. Whoa. Maybe that's a little bit much. Or is it? I quite like that. Uh no, it's too much. Look underneath. It's all good. Still it's attached, okay. It's not all good. Why is that not all good? Because look at the bottom. It's fine. I can just pull that back down. I suppose. Um, so what do you reckon then? It's this deselected itself. It's still selected. Okay, well, you might want to add a few more um, loops, like as in, like edges, edges, like. So you see where it says one. Yep. Make that two. All right, and then you see where it says zero point five. Mm hmm. Just piss about with that bit until you get something that you like. Would you like to explain to me what each of these things are doing? So what you're doing at the moment is you're changing um, how far the edges are pushed out around the chamfer. Oh, I see. So that what gives it its rounded appearance. If you make it, I think it's either zero, zero you flatten it essentially. Oh, I see. Well, that looks okay at the moment. It still looks a bit flat. Um, make it just just see that. Oh, ooh, hang on. Yeah, you want to increase it, increase it. Keep increasing it, keep increasing it, keep increasing it. Back a bit. Oop, back, back. No, nope, that's in. There we go. All right, I think we might have to do that with the, with the uh, front weapon as well. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm going to have to have a quick look at this. Um, I like that, so we're going to press tick. Uh, but I need to just engage movement tool on this particular little vertex here and pull it down a bit. There we go. That's fine now. Yeah, that'll be okay, won't it? Mm -hmm. I, don't, oh, I don't mind it having a little bit of a lip there. No. But now we're going to need to do something with this section, aren't we? So let's loop it. And maybe we'll do something similar? Yeah. I mean, we've got all of our... Maybe a bit less extreme on the, uh, on the measurement scale. Make it look a bit smaller. Well... Yeah. But that does help quite a lot. Uh, just uh, with general <laughs> aesthetics, it does seem to. So mm -hmm. I think that'll do. Yeah, okay. Now let's take a look elsewhere. Um, we've done our wings. Do you think it might be wise for us to take a look at this underside here that I created? And uh, is, yeah, if you want to. Is there anything else I should do with that? Do you think I should champ for the edges there? Uh, probably not. Probably because keep it as a hard edge because it is a hard area. Okay, that's fine. And what uh, about well, I, would, well, I think it would be a good... Uh, well, hang on. Go back underneath it. What I would think is a good idea is like it's like I had a, um, like a hatch of some description. Okay. Uh, do you think on this... Oh, on this side here, if I just go to the poly tool, it'll make sense. If I do it somewhere there? Uh, n n no. You prefer it here? Yes. All right. So, would you want to start with an inset there, just to actually give us something to play with? Yep. All right. So, let's play with it. Oh, look. Oh, we've got some weird geometry going on there. Hang on. We have. Oh. It appears you have chamfered an edge there that you didn't mean to chamfer. All right, so let's go back. All right, there's... You know the way to do this, don't you? Uh-oh, oh, I need to redo. Redo chamfer? Yeah, there it is, right. Um, so, it appears that I've been chamfering my entire model. <laughs> oh, I've done yeah. that before, it looks horrible. Uh, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to merge... I'm yeah. hoping I might be able to get away with this. No. Um, nope, didn't get away with it. <laughs> Good to this mode. Yep, yeah, we're just going to have to do the old target weld. Yep, and you want to target them into the middle. Oh, silly poops. Uh, you want to get that other one as well, the other vertex above it. It's a vertex above it? Yeah. This one? No. Oh, there is one there, look, I didn't see that. Good eyes. That's looking at it through screen share. 
Well, you're not right, though, are you? What do you mean I'm not right? <laughs> How dare you, sir? I'm insulted. <laughs> there isn't another one, is there? Yeah. There is? Yeah. Where? It's, it's hidden. Where? Control Z. Target world that one first. Oh. Ah. Oh, good lord. No. There we go. Yeah. Alright, fine. Back to this mode. Hello is happy. I'm not sure that Chris is. <laughs> You're never happy. What? It's not very fair. So, how big do you want your hatch? Like that? Nah, bigger. Bigger? Yeah, I want that big. Right, I want it round big. as well, so I want vertex mode selected. You want it round? I want it round. Alright, so we've got vertex mode selected. No, we haven't got edge mode selected. We, yeah, we have, haven't we? I knew that. Select each of the vertexes on the corner. Just the corner vertexes. Yep. And you're gonna chamfer it. Oh. Oh, this looks mental. Until they join. Not, 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 not until they like join the edge. Not that. Yeah, that'll do. Right. So click OK. Select your and polygon. That... Polygons, two polygons that have created. Right then, I want you to extrude that in. Alright, so just do that. Yeah, maybe not as extreme. There we go. Alright. Okay, now the problem we have here now is the fact that we have a lot of um, vertexes that aren't, like, you know, connected, connected. Like these bits here? Yeah. Okay. So there's a way around. Right, what you're going to do is you're going to um, go to polygon mode. Poly. This is, this is a way of doing something if you want to... Um, Connect, create a cap off essentially. So you want to get well. First thing, actually, you, know, you want to get rid of that edge in the middle. But I like that edge. Well, get rid of it. It's going. Hmm. Now polygon selection tool. Uh, we're going to insert it. Insert this bit. Mhm. Mm it's going to throw a hissy fit. No, it is going to throw a hissy fit. Don't worry. What if we just do it about there? Is that going to be okay? No, no, no. We're going to have to... It's going to go all the way in the middle. It's, like, it? I said, like I said, it's going to throw a hissy fit. You want it like that? Yeah. No, not that extreme. Back a bit, back a bit, back a bit, back a bit, back a bit. All right, keep it there. All right. I don't like this. I need him. Okay, right. Target well time. <clears throat> oh, my God. This sounds like a lot of work. It is. So back into vertex mode and target well. Right. Bring them, right, start welding vertices together. Just any vertices? Yep. As long as they're not on the edges, so... Oh, well, you want to correct that vert vertex trouble there first. Uh, so that I need to correct all this bollocks here? Uh, just them two. Like that one, and... That one, there we go, that's corrected. Right. Now, what you need to do, I want you, you... You'd want to connect that one, which... No, ignore them, ignore them, ignore them, ignore them. Alright, go, 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 go. Connect that one. <laughs> this one? Yep. No, not there. Not that way. In the middle. You can't do that yet. All right. Drag them two. You see them two there? Yep. Yeah, don't. Uh, you want to bring them into the middle, not the other way around. Not not what you're doing now. All right. You got it. So I want drag these here. Drag yep. that one here. All right. Do the opposite as well with the to the with to the side. Wait, no, 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 no. Back, back, back. Like oh, said, you ignore never the let me do nothing. Ignore them. Ignore them. They're fine. They're I can't fine. help myself, man. I'm getting all excited. You mean like this? Yep. He's a demanding taskmaster, this Connor. I am. Now, right. I want you to... Which one do you want to put into the middle? Well, actually, no. Put that one, left one, into the middle. Huh. Yeah. Now, what you've done essentially here now, you've created a cap. It's all connected, it's all one. And it's not going to cause you any troubles when you want to import it into game. Okay, that's good. It's also flat. That helps too. Mm -hmm. all right, so it so may look weird, but for all intents and purposes, it's done exactly what we want to and it's sufficient. And that's going to work for sins? That should work for sins, yes. I hope so. Right, so we've got our little thing underneath. Uh, we've made some changes here. We've made some changes up here. 
<clears throat> which all looks nice. Is there anything else that we can add? Is there any fine detail that you think might help? Um, I think the wings, I think a bit of panelling on the wings wouldn't go amiss. Okay, so back to poly mode. Um, well, I suppose we could just do the whole wing, couldn't we, and then inset it. Yeah. Or we could have separate panels on each section. If you want to. Uh, it, yeah. it might be difficult to inset, though, because of the uh, edge here. No, it'd be fine. Oh, no, it is fine. It's just created a new bit. So... It needs to be a bit less than that, really, doesn't it? So something like that, mm -hmm. maybe? So we'll click OK. Uh, now, we'll... The way to make something look bigger... That it actually is. Or... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm listening to this extremely carefully. And the way to make something actually look bigger... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dark horse, you... Uh, <laughs> is to make it look like it's indenting into the hole, not extruding out of the hole. Okay. Uh, what I'm actually doing now is I've just decided to actually do both of these sections on the sa at the same time. So there we go. Right. So I would ideally I'd want to extrude it downwards in. Mm -hmm. Not too much. Mm -hmm. Maybe even a bit less than that. You don't want to, you don't it. You don't want a lot. Yeah, let's um, just like that. Do you reckon yeah, a yeah. little less? No, that'll do fine. That's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so now say, for example, we want another panel sticking out of that inset. Would we have to inset it again? No, we're going to go into vertex mode. We're going to go into vertex mode. All right, you see the two vertices opposite each other? That and that? Nope. Or these two? Them two. Do you want me to connect them? I do. All right, let's come down in. You... Uh, Change your yeah. mind like a girl. Oh, Change now I'm confused. <laughs> what you singing? <laughs> uh, you want to do it on the other side as well? I do. You're right. Mm. You're entirely right, sir. Oh, I thought I had mad skills for a second there, but I still selected the wrong one. One thing I'm not great at is actually manipulating the camera. You get used to it. Right. Polygon mode. Poly. Alright, select that polygon, the big, the little one, little triangle. I okay. To, I want you to insert that bastard. Insert that bitch. Let's uh, make it a little small. I want to zoom in a little bit so I can actually see what's going on here. I like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so do you want to extrude that up a little bit? Now I say a little bit. A little bit. Like a really little bit. Just get rid of the minus in this case and then reduce that. Is that a 6? Or... Uh, yeah, 0 0.006. Yeah, get rid of the minus and do 0.003. Okay. Right, so it's a little lower than the overall hell. A little but, uh, lower than the one, yeah. So we'll click OK. There we go. Make sure it's done it on both sides, which it has. Okay, now I want you to select the little tri the big triangle. We're going to do something similar. Uh, yeah, but we're going to, instead of the minus, we're going to make it go in more. Ah, so... so we're... Do we want to inset it again? No, of yeah. course we do. So, yeah, that looks fine, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yes, and we're going to extrude. So, how much do you want to extrude this? Uh, I want it the same, but minus it. Minus it, okay. And you find that this gives nice shading and variation. Mm -hmm. How's that look? Uh, get rid of edge mode. No, 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 just get rid of the edges on the model. How do I do that? Um, just press... Press just there you go. That looks all right, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? We probably do need something at the front now that we've done those bits at the back. Yep. So, should we follow a similar model for that? No. Okay, what you got for me? I mean, select the two main polygons up the front. Got it. To inset it. Ooh, hello. Got to make the insert a bit smaller. 
I think I might have to. Right, is there anyone zoom in on that bit there? Let's see what the um, the shifty wufty problem is. Right, let's inset it a bit more. Oh, uh, okay. Looks like you're gonna have to do the typing inset. Way too much. Yeah. Uh, oh. Zero point zero five. This is zero zero one at the moment. It's zero zero five. It's doing that thing again. Oh, I'm getting so angry. Relax. I can never relax. Five. Right. Four. Oh. Oh, no, wait. Did you move the polygon up a bit there? I might have. Control Z it. Control Z it. Control Z it. It's all I have done. No, but what, what the hell? Do you want to control Z it again? Just to be honest with you. There we go. Uh, 0 0.003. There we go. I was doing that strange thing where it's uh, this one's coming up and that one's just kind of going inwards. I, I don't know why it's doing that though. That's a very obscure thing, isn't it? I think. I think, therefore, I am right. I think I know what the problem is. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's weird. It's because your polygon is it won't flat. It's because your polygon is slightly skewed. Right. How can I fix that? Okay, right. Deselect everything. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into vertex mode. Vertex. Okay, I want you to select <coughs> the vertex... Uh, that... The ver... Oh, no. Oh, that. I'm just trying to get it into a... There we are. So one of these ones. Yeah. Bottom one. And select the vertex to the like. Not that one. Not that one. Across. Over here. No, where the wing connects to the body. Here. Nope. Here. Nope. Follow that line across to the right. Here. That one. Connect. There we go. Oh, that's very obscure. Click. Yes, you're right. They were skewed. Something I did in the last episode, evidently. But it looks correct here, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Oh. Only looks correct because the shading is making you think it looks correct. Oh, it's that bastard shading. Boop. There we go. No, right you are. Right you are. Okay, so... Now that we might have this fixed... If I was to uh, select those bits now... I think that might uh, might have rectified the issue. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Well, let's try it. That seems a lot better behaved, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. A lot better. Look at that. Yep. Do you want to go a bit further, or is that good? Let's go further. All right. There we are. Looking good. All right. Click right. it, make sure it's happy on the other wing. Yep, it, it, it is. should be. Um, right, let's go into vertex mode. Right. I want to show you one of these um, vertices. Bam. And can you tell which one I want to show you? Uh, Probably this and this. Nope. Just that one, the, 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 the second one. Just the front one, okay. Just that one, yeah. Got it, all right. So it's got a chamfer. Mm -hmm. And, oh, how many do we want? Uh, doing it right. One, one, two. I need to zoom in on the left. You see the left view? Top yep. view, should I say? Can you zoom in on there? This one, one of, on one of them. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a bit more, perhaps. How's that? More. No, is it not zoom in more? Is in like more chamfer? Oh right. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Right. Yep, okay, cross, tick it. Now select the chamfer on the left. Uh, not the chamfer, so it should have said vertice on the left. Not that right. vertice. I mean, like the vertice on the. Um, see the triangle is on the left. On the, I want you to set the, the left hand vertice. Oh, you see, yeah. And then the right hand vertice on the other one. 
Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay. Now, can you drag that into the so it's straight with the vertices to the right of it? Oh, I see. So uh, with a move. You're already in the move tool selected. Something like that. Does that look correct? No, it's in like so it's parallel, like flat. Yeah. Now you get it. That looks parallel to me now. Not quite. No, there. Nope. Come on, you bastard. There we are. Nope. Well, this <laughs> evidently isn't par parallel now. Ha ha! Straight across. Right. Uh, uh, when, you say, when you say parallel, you're nearly, you're you nearly there. That's, that's like straight. In line with each other. There we go. That doesn't look like it to me, but okay. I'll trust you. All right, let's select the polygon. All right, the one, the new one that we've created. Oh, the uh, the the ones, the the them ones, yeah. Them ones. Right, uh, let's create an extrusion. Boop. Inwards or outwards today? Up. What does that look like? How's that? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Now what? I know what else. What do you want to do now? I think I'm pretty happy with this as it's going at the moment. Um, I think what I might do is I'll, I'll end the video here because we've been going for a bit long. Okay. Um, and maybe I'll do a couple of other little touches and we'll hopefully come back to this soon. Yeah. And... Um, we're going to learn about a couple of other aspects, like UV unwrapping, which you've made a lot harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have made incredibly more difficult, yes, and I'm not sorry. I, mm, I, you should be. Oh, but, no. But there we go. We've uh, we've learned a number of things there. We've learned uh, quad chamfering. What else have we learned? Things, stuff. Extruding. Extruding. Oh, well, you've already been doing that, though, haven't you? That's, we that's... have, yes, but perhaps not in quite a... Um, not quite such a good manner. In setting. But there we go. That's how and our ship slice now... Slice, slice planing. Ooh, thing. slice planing. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. And our ship now looks a little like this. So it's a little bit smoother. Got a little bit of panelling on the go. Yeah, very nice. Thank you very much for teaching me a couple of bits and bobs there, Connor. It's all right. And hopefully we can uh, come back to this soon and uh, we'll learn about UV unwrapping. We're going to learn about texturing. I'm not sure how many episodes this is going to take, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a while. It, it might be a while, yeah. I, I can't promise this. And then ultimately what we're going to do is once we have a working model um, with all the textures that we need, including um, things like a bump map, we are going to hard point it in probably another program. I don't know how you do it in this one. Um, and we're going to put it into SINs. But that's not going to be today. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for joining me and helping me, Connor. As always. And if you like what you've seen today, ladies and gentlemen, please do comment below telling me um, what you think. Give me any hints and tips that you have, because uh, I'm sure some of you uh, model. And, of course, like I, and subscribe. I also, I also like to model. I have uh, boxer briefs as my speciality. Oh, I see. Connor Klein. <laughs> Bang about. What? Klein. I don't know what that means in German. Screw you. <laughs> Connor Kleinen. <laughs> oh, Connor, I'm sure your pimmel is acceptable. Oh, God, God no. Germ the Germans on your channel are going to. They're going to be loving it. Can I see my pimmel? Scheißkopf. Oi! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today.